So, Emma, how likely do you think that the EV unit will be able to deliver their first vehicle by this time frame? Uh, look, it's definitely an ambitious target, um, not just because the company's repeatedly uh, pushed back its time frame for this for this so-called mass production. I mean, sources we've spoken to in just the past few weeks have said mass production next year, which has long been their target, is unlikely given they've been, I mean, dialing back uh, what we call test production at their factories already. So they're, they're already behind. Um, and, and like you said, uh, the, the EV unit, like the parent, is not in a good place. It's admitted there's no guarantee it can meet its financial obligations. Um, it doesn't seem to be having much luck in its hunt for uh, strategic investors. You know, our reporters have been keeping their ear to the ground, particularly in auto circles, and, and there isn't much talk of, of any sort of investment there. Um, I mean, things have gotten so bad with Evergrande NEV that it's delayed salary payments. Uh, it's also behind on paying for some equipment. Um, so it definitely doesn't sound like a company on the brink of pushing out its first orders. Um, though there is quite a big gap between delivering a few vehicles and mass production, it must be said. Right. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it could be one or a million, uh, right? E Emma, just very quickly here, talk to us about a track record here, the, sort of the history of setting goals and uh, were they able to meet those objectives, I guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there was some eye-rolling among investors and car industry watchers who woke up to this news this morning. Um, you know, when they first appeared on the scene in 2019, they had this, this huge claim that they'd take on Elon Musk and be the world's biggest EV maker within five years. Well, you know, they couldn't be further from that. Um, they've engaged in a fair bit of smoke and mirrors. They launched their Hongcha uh, range, uh, a whole bunch of cars with flashy promotional videos, a big booth at the Shanghai Auto Show. But no one's really gotten close to the actual cars, which haven't, um, as I said, progressed beyond that test manufacture stage. Um, and mass production's no small undertaking. Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it takes a lot of sort of regulatory, regulatory steps to get there. So it's a really ambitious target. And it's also unclear whether they have any orders as yet um, in a pretty saturated um, EV market that is China.